Check out these nine amazing pumpkin carving hacks. Start with a clean, flat work surface. Get a large trash bag and put the pumpkin inside it. Now throw the pumpkin away because pumpkin carving is wasteful and stupid. When carving your pumpkin lid, don't cut straight up and down. Otherwise, the lid will fall into the pumpkin. Instead, cut at a 45 degree angle, maintaining the angle as you cut around the pumpkin. If you cut your pumpkin lid round, it can be hard to figure out how to put it back in place. Instead, put a notch on the back side of the pumpkin lid, and you can quickly and easily line it up. Cleaning out the inside of the pumpkin can be a nasty job. If it's too gross for you, get your wife to do it. The little pumpkin carving tools that grocery stores sell this time of year are completely useless. That's not a knife. This is a knife. A cookie cutter can be a great alternative to carving a pumpkin by hand. Plus, it's safer for your little ones. Just use a large mallet and tap the cookie cutter into the pumpkin. You'll have to hit it pretty hard to break through that tough pumpkin flesh. Your pumpkin begins rotting as soon as you carve it. Make it last longer with some hairspray. Just be sure to do it before you light the candle. Nothing is worse than getting almost done with your pumpkin and then breaking off a tooth. If this happens to you, rage quit. Lighting your pumpkin with a candle or a glow stick is totally lame. For a real show, bust out some lighter fluid. And if that's not good enough, remember the hairspray. My neighbor just came home with his kid, and he's like, hi. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Actually, we're going to give you a cheater. Aim for that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where this is going to go. Oh, you nailed it! <laughs> I got it right you on did it, it right perfectly on it. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Now I didn't do that today. <laughs> I made a mess today, but I didn't do that. Ooh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I won't blow it up. <laughs>